Seems like there might be more of an opportunity to, to, to run the ball against this Oregon State team. I know you guys run your offense and the system is a system, but, but what, what do you think you guys can do to, to maybe attack them on the ground a little bit more than them? Yeah, I think it's just when our, our opportunities come, we got to maximize those opportunities. So some games it's uh, pass blocking and uh, catching balls, some games it's, you know, it's running the ball. So um, we're excited for the, uh, for the opportunity and the challenge this week, and uh, we're ready for our, our chances. Can you sense why they've struggled to, to defend the run? Is it, is it inexperience or maybe some, some new coaching or uh, different stuff they're doing than last year? I think, I think they're kind of sound. Their schemes are sound and they play hard and it's just, uh, you know, they got to finish in place, you know. So for us, it's just kind of running hard, keeping our pads low and uh, finishing falling forward. All the kind of things we talk about anyway. So um, it would be fun to kind of see that matchup. I'm not sure we've talked to you since uh, the USC game and Max's touchdown run. What did you kind of like about his physicality there, bounced off a few defenders, and he's really shown he, he, he can play the a mature level of football? I think that was kind of the last check mark for him, kind of going into the season. You know, first Pac-12 game on the road, a hostile environment like that, and he was able to uh, kind of impose his will a little bit as a freshman. Pretty impressive. And then how do the guys kind of adjust to a game where you guys are only running it five times the, the, the very next week? We just start foaming at the mouth a little bit, and then uh, we'll be ready for, uh, for, for the Beavers this week, you know. Have you had a chance to, to really kind of study the, the new running backs of kind of everywhere in the pack? It seems like there's, there's three or four guys who kind of broke broke onto the scene this year, the guy at Oregon, the guy at ASU, and obviously the guy at Oregon State. This, this yeah, it's been, it's, been, it's been fun to see. You know, everybody's got these weapons kind of keep on reloading different teams, that type of thing. So uh, um, we just try and, you know, again, maximize our, our opportunities when we go out there and be, uh, be effective, you know, successful play, whether it be a run or a catch. You know, we want five yards plus every time we touch the ball. And then, uh, you know, again, in pass protection, we got to make sure we keep Gardner clean, work with the O-line together as a unit, and make sure that he's, uh, he can go out there and deal it like he has been. What does it say about, about maybe the conference to, to lose guys like Royce Freeman and Philip Lindsay and uh, uh, the Ronald Jones and kind of be able to replace it at, at every school? And then there's just so, so much talent com coming in every year. Yeah, I think the Pac-12 is kind of known for a lot of those skill guys and the speed. You know, and that's what uh, kind of tracks recruits, too. I mean, you're, you're going to be, you know, catching the ball, run the ball, be all over the field and making plays and, uh, you know, a few more points scored in some other leagues. So it's, uh, it's exciting to, be, to come be a skill guy in the Pac-12. I don't know how much film you've watched yet of Oregon State's offense, if at all, but if you've had a chance to see Jermar Jefferson play, what immediately stands out about him? And have you ever seen, come across a back that talented right off the bat? Uh, no, nah, I coach offense. I, I didn't watch too much of their, uh, uh, their stuff. What would it mean to, to be able to, to bring a 5-1 record into the bye week and you know, one, one game kind of shy of postseason? I know you guys aren't just aiming for, for a bowl game, but to be in that position going into the bye week, what would that feel like? No, yeah, I mean, that's kind of the uh, that's, that's the plan, you know, and just take care of our job this week, go 1-0 this week, win this game, and then, uh, you know, kind of regroup and, now, and get back to basics and uh, clean up any mistakes that we've had in the past and then move forward and kind of get ready for the next opponent. But that'd be, uh, be big for us, no different than any other week for, as far as preparation goes, but obviously love to have it. The, the gas shirts that you guys, that you, the running backs are wearing, whose idea was that? Where did that come from? Yeah, it just kind of morphed from uh, the meeting room was the gas station, and then these guys are, uh, you know, who's got unleaded gas, who's got diesel, who's got Supreme, and uh, just kind of morphed from there. So, uh, you know, they're ready to uh, go to work every every week, and when their, their time's called, they got to hit the gas, you know. Who's the unleaded? Who's the diesel? Who's the Supreme? Yeah, that's that'd be a fun. You can ask the running backs that, and they'll uh, they'll probably all you know do one of these things and point to each other. Who's you know who's got the unleaded? But. Um, yeah, no, that's pretty. That's pretty funny, actually. Is that kind of the motto that, that you, you've instilled? Is, is kind of the gas up, uh, the, the fuel up uh, motto, or I, I, something like that that you guys are using you know, this year? One of the big things to kind of watch in film from last year was uh, we had quite a few negative plays, negative runs. You know, and we wanted to eliminate those and make sure everything's getting downhill right now. And our line's doing a great job, kind of staying on double teams, working forward. So even when the play is not ideal, uh, we need to fall forward for at least two, three yards. So even if it's not blocked up, great. So that's kind of where it kind of stemmed from. I mean, there's no, we're not hitting the brakes ever. You know, I mean, it's just uh, stuff on the gas pedal, make the right cut and get up the field. You know, not a bunch of, uh, you know, flashy moves, but it's going to be, uh, you can make those in the second level when you get into the space. Um, kind of when you coach them up, it's, you know, I can coach you up to get to five yards because I could probably run that myself. It's blocked up right. But after that, then it's your show. You know, you want to throw a spin move on somebody or whatever, you can do that. But, uh, you know, hit the gas. I'm sure you guys kind of track those numbers. Can, can you sense that there are more positive plays as opposed to negative plays it, through only five games? No, it has been. I mean, if, if you look at the uh, the lost yardage from the running back position uh, on runs only, I mean, it's a it's a pretty small number compared to where it was at this point uh, last season, which is which is good progress. We know we've got a long way to go, but on the right in the right track there. Do you know about what it is so far this season as opposed to last season? I want to say it's uh, look, it, it may be double digit yards. Yeah. Um, you know, through through five games, which is a pretty good number. You know, there's been a you know a few more zero runs, but um, like I said, we don't want those negative three, negative four in the backfield plays where you're putting the offense behind the chains. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, it can't be more than, I mean, maybe 15 yards, maybe through, through five games max, you know? Going back to Max for a minute now, he's looked comfortable right off the bat. Where do you think he's been at his best so far in the running game and then out on pass patterns? Yeah, both of those.